Good start, boys. Good start. Good start. Let's go, From the day he first walked onto the scene with the Latvian national team program, that was at the start of the 2011-12 season, he has stressed the need for self-belief from the Latvian players. He came in and told right away, like, you guys are better than you think. You're playing uh, World Elite Championships, like you're a good team and uh, you just have to start believing in yourself. So he gets out as every meeting is about believing in yourself, believing that team play can uh, outwork the big teams and uh, here we are. And it was started last year with the Olympics where, where you, nobody believed we were going to even win a game there. And uh, he talked about us every day. We lost first three games and he said, you know what? You have to be good at the right moment, and uh, and we won. And uh, so I think this carries all over from Olympics, and that's that's what his main thing is: like be positive, like stick together, and work every day. Ted Nolan is a great fit for a country that battles hard with the limited resources it has. Latvia is currently ranked 10th in the IIHF official rankings and they have far fewer registered players and indoor rinks than any of the other top 10 nations. Like Nolan, they view themselves as perpetual underdogs. Well, you know, it's, it's almost a similar um, uh, um, place where I come from. You know, uh, growing up in a, in a small First Nation community in northern Ontario and not having too many uh, resources available to, our, to ourselves and you have to make do with what you have. And here in Lafayette it's the same thing. Uh, you know, we, we, we make do with what we have. We're, we're the smallest nation here. We get probably the fewest, uh, fewest players. Uh, I think we only have about 10 ranks all of Lafayette. Um, so for what these guys have, have done, it's, it's a true, true testament of, of what work and what will and determination can do. And, and like I said, they, they should be very proud of themselves, uh, the way they competed and the way they're, they're working. And so they're putting Lafayette on the map through hockey. It's a great experience for us. And uh, I think it's uh, as a coach for, for both of us, for Ted, it's only expanded, to, you know, more exper experience is the greatest teacher. And uh, so uh, for, for Ted, it's been a wonderful experience and he'll expand upon that, I'm sure. But for me as well, it's been tremendous. So, uh, you know, I hope something continues along this line. This particular run that Latvia is on started in February of 2013 at the final Olympic qualification tournament in Riga. They won the tournament to qualify for Sochi. Once they got to Sochi, they shocked the Swiss and eventually they fell to Canada 2-1 in the quarterfinal. They were the last team to score on Canada in the tournament. Here in Minsk, Nolan, along with his trusted assistant coach, Tom Kulin, has Latvia in the thick of the race for second place in Group B. Once this tournament is over, it doesn't seem likely that Nolan will be back behind the Latvia bench anytime soon. His day job is coaching the Buffalo Sabres, whom he would hope to have in the Stanley Cup playoffs a year from now. Whatever Latvia's fate here in Minsk, Nolan is very much trying to live in the moment, something that life teaches us all as we go along. Uh, the Ojibwe uh, proper is, is, is Nangwa. It means now, and uh, like I said, um, you know, as you as you go through life, I think sometimes you, you realize what's what's really important, and and uh, and what we're doing here at uh, at the World uh, Championships, we're, we're trying to win some games, we're trying to trying to get to the qualifying uh, tournament, trying to get a medal. Who knows? But so you, you enjoy every moment, and I'm just really really enjoying the, the moment I have with these guys. Reporting for IIHF.com. I'm Paul Romanuk.